it would make it difficult for this uh, gauge to get around the half inch pipe, the half inch uh, ring itself. Now, comparing the two, now I brought up the Ubinor, Ubinor tool and we'll see the uh, difference in the uh, connection. Again, this is the Ubinor PEX pipe, which has that little frosted uh, white ring in the middle like. That's how you can tell the difference between two of them. And you notice that the Ubinor fitting doesn't go in exactly inside that pipe. So it has to be expanded first before that fitting can go in there. And these are the these are also called the crimp rings. You can call them some they call it the print rings. And they expand as well. So they're basically made the same material as the uh, PEX piping. And the good thing about these, when you put these rings on, they don't slide down because they had a little stop at the top to kind of stop it from going down further on the pipe. And you can see why the... Uh, this is the uh, head for the tool and we're going to use this is a half inch and if you could s you notice the uh, toolbox has some grease on there uh, but that's because I'm constantly greasing it up so that it'll work smoothly and not get stuck and again you can notice why the uh, Ubinor PEX pipe has a larger inside diameter which is the uh, true size of the pipe which is half inch and all this tool does is expand that plastic and it's a, they call it a memory plastic because it so called remembers where it where it was molded at and goes right back to that position which makes it nice because it wraps real tight around the fitting you see the slip the fitting in there and from here the next thing you know that PEX pipe is squeezing down on that fitting and wrapping right back around it and it's almost impossible to pull this loose matter of fact I would say it's impossible I couldn't see anybody pulling this apart 